Hello guys, it's Platform Pat back at it again, and guess what? We're not done yet. So I kind of give you gave you a break with the Ancient Gear video, but I'm back with another Heavy Hero Dracolis. This time with Favorite Hero, one of actually at the moment one of my favorite ones, and maybe the one that I will use to cog this month, but we will see after the ban list. So before jumping right into it guys, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it and really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into it. So here, with of course, the Supreme King and the skill Domination of Darkness, this is being so good now that we've got access to Supreme King's castle, so a couple of copies, uh, so what happens now? So the main combo is to bring out this guy, but we all know these guys have two problems. The first problem is that they have low stats, so uh, as you can see 2100 is pretty bad, 2400 a little bit better but still bad, and 80, 1900 just... ah. Just, just, it's better not to say anything. So, uh, they're pretty weak. And the other problem is that these guys have no protection to back rows. So, the cards that just resolves all these problems at once is this one. Ferret Hero. So, it's a generic hero card, so you can use it on your favorite, on your fusion hero monsters. Uh, as long as they are level 5 or higher, and this, uh, actually, this requirement is accomplished. And also, this thing needs you to have a field spell. Now, I already made a build with Sinister Calling back in the day when we got, when we unlocked the Supreme King the first time back in August, and it was with Necro Volley, but now we've got an even better option. I mean, you can still play, play Necro Valley in here, but you know, with Supreme King's Castle, it's just so good that you can actually play a couple of this. So, um, keep in mind now that this little guy right here, that, that inflicts pressing damage plus the um, effect damage right here, now becomes a true OTK machine. Why? Because this thing will become to will become a 3300 attack with favorite hero, plus it can be boosted with another um, 1600 thanks to the Supreme King's Castle effect by sending an Evil Hero fusion monster, actually also an Evil Hero from your deck, um, to the graveyard. So, the attack becomes huge, huge enough to OTK. The same thing becomes, uh, you know, good with the Lightning Golem, then comes, just, you know, it's just so sad that he has a 3900, I mean, you could just summon this, pop a monster, attack directly, but Unfortunately, 39 is not 4k, but it's fine, I mean, but the good thing though is that while Cyclone instead becomes uh, 4200 attack and he, when he attacks, your opponent cannot activate nothing, and this is pretty cool against cards like Mirror Wall and Wall of D, because if he attacks, your opponent cannot activate the, those, and also, uh, while Cyclone will pop them after he attacked, after he inflicted damage, so it's pretty cool. Um, uh, so the actually the combo is stays the same. I mean, we have the adjusted gold new um, add to the game uh, to add the dark calling, or you can also add the supreme king's castle. I mean, if you already have a couple of dark calling, for example, uh, you could choose actually to add the supreme king's castle, so that as as soon as you activate favorite hero. The um, with the Supreme King's Castle on the field, your monster becomes untargetable, and you do not have to wait for the battle phase. So this combo, so the actually using the effect of Dust of Gold to add the King's Castle can be good, especially um, if it's us to begin. So if it's our first turn, we have no access to battle phase, so we cannot use the favorite hero effect to bring the field spell from the deck to the field. So we need actually to activate that from our hand, and we can use a Dust of Gold to use that. So, 
Uh, with Domination of Darkness, we do not have to care about the fusion materials because twice per duel, once per turn, we can just send the materials to the grave from outside their deck, and this is pretty cool. Then we got the triple Malicious Edge to have access to Malicious Fiend, uh, Stratus to look for Dusted Goal and to pop back pros as well, and Gainer is actually um, a tech card for the OTK. I mean, it's still a summonable monster that can actually, as you will see in the replays if I'm not wrong, can benefit from the effect of King's Castle, so this can be boosted up to 3200 attack, and it's pretty nice, but mainly you can use the effect to make your fusion monster attack twice, so just imagine this little guy, a capped with favorite hero, untargetable, with 3300 attack, boostable up to um, 49, right? 4900 attack that with the effect of gainer can attack twice and last but not least we've got necrofusion so as long because of the fact that we have an easy access to supreme king's castle we can play necrofusion as a defense and as a superb tactic in your opponent's battle phase to summon the malicious fiend so that he's forced to attack with all these of his monsters on the malicious fiend and uh, uh, keep in mind, of course, that you do not need a, um, you do, you're not forced to use a couple of malicious edge to summon this guy. You can also use a malicious edge, of course, because it's one of the uh, fusion materials written on the card. But the other one can be any of the other fusion materials that maybe has been sent to the grave with the effect of King's Castle, or maybe because you know it's a fusion monster that was just destroyed uh, previously in the during the duel. So guys, that was all. This deck is maybe the most fun I had to play with um, talking about evil heroes after the Adusted Goal addition, you know. And nothing else. I hope you enjoy this uh, and we can jump right into the sweet replays. First replay, my boy, against Mokuba. Let's see what we've got. Um, so it's got six M's, pretty nice to face, you know, something different, and uh, actually usual play, I mean, just the six M's in attack position, and I guess one of this is a six star dual wield, so we have to be careful about that. So I started with the Stratus to have a, an edge because I already got a couple of gold, and nothing else. Um, here maybe I made a misplay because I should have used an effect of the dusted gold because I can only use once per turn so next turn I won't be able to use um, both so keep in mind that if you have a couple of dusted gold just use uh, at least once per turn and I decided to just attack because you know if he does not have a uh, 6 in attack position he cannot use dual wield that's the thing uh, but he's got the um, uh, the return of 6 samurai so he can summon that back another one that's going to Excalibur uh, and now I'm chilling because even if he got the six style dual with he cannot use that so you know I'm relaxing right now I'm chilling and uh, let's see what we got another misplay that I made guys is that I forgot to use the skill so because you can only use the skill once per turn make sure you always use the first one with uh, you know one of the fusion monsters uh, because anyway you can only you can only use every monsters once you cannot repeat the same monster you cannot send the same materials twice so it just you know it's worthy to use it even if you're not planning to use the dark calling on that turn keep in mind that so we've got the adjusted goals of fact in this case, maybe I should have had the, um, uh, you know, the uh, field spell, but it's fine. I decided to go for the uh, aligning golem, as you can see right here, to pop that, and that's exactly what I did. Then Stratus to pop some back rows. Uh, favorite hero, battle phase to make it untargetable and huge. And just attacking, I don't know what this was, maybe it was actually, sorry for the connection right here, uh, I bet it was actually 6 style dual wield, so that's how you, easy you can do it. I mean, even if he uh, used the, the, the trap card, he could have uh, summoning the um, uh, the 6 times from the grave, thanks to favorite hero, I could attack twice. So that was pretty nice, uh, pretty nice and spice. There you go. Second duel against uh, Melodious, pretty nice deck, guys, um, keep on telling it, pretty nice deck, I mean, I do not have access to the main card, that is the, the girl that let Fusion summon without the Fusion spell card, but 
I don't think I will I have the resources to get triple of that so my dream of playing Melodius is just uh, gone before even bo being born. So Stratus to begin with, adding another Stratus because I actually now do not know how to play it but keep in mind that the Necrofusion right here is useless because I do not have the field spell. So um, there you go Melodius, we hold the, the, the stuff with the skill that brings out the Maestra so that he can fusion summon into the Bloom Diva. Um, Bloom Diva, I don't know the name of how it is. There you go, fusion summon with the uh, Soprano. And the Bloom Diva is here, but he couldn't attack because this guy can pop only the monsters that are special summon. And keep in mind that so Stratos is immune right now. Um, I went with another Stratos, I just uh, um, draw the other set gold pretty nice. Then Treacherous, the best move you could do, because you know, both Stratos cannot be destroyed by the effect of the Diva, so that was fine. And that's that gold to other Dark Calling, um, and Domination Darkness once again to send all the materials that I could send. First one, Dark Calling, to summon a Lightning Golem. Here comes the misplay, as you can see in a moment. I use the effect, but this thing cannot be destroyed by cut by card effects. So that was useless. I used also Fairy Thero, and it was even, you know, maybe not needed, but then I realized it was needed because I needed to pull out this thing. Because thanks to this thing, I can just, you know, uh, use my Necrofusion to summon the guy from the extra deck. So that was the play, then he just go went on with the Melodious Diva, attacking with the Bloom Diva, using the effect, popping my uh, Lightning Golem, but I decided to use the um, uh, Necrofusion to bring out the uh, Inferno Wing. Then Stratos to pop the other back row, he's got the Forbidden Chalice on Stratos, pretty bad move, he could have just negate this, but it's fine. Uh, Supreme King's Castle to boost up to um, uh, 3500, uh, ascending this guy so that, you know, just just because I didn't want to have to have another bricky hand drawing another one, that's why I sent this from the grave and not a fusion master from the extra deck. Then Bloom Diamond goes on by simply popping my Inferno Wing with the effect, I dust that gold to add another Dark Calling, there's no point in fusion summoning right here, so I just went and tribute summon the Edge, Edge, uh, um, as the Stratos cannot be popped by the effect of Melodious Chuar, so right now I just need to make a mistake, there you go, here goes the mistake, um, set monster because my malicious edge just can um, inflict piercing damage it comes a mistake uh, boosting up the malicious edge with the field spell and that's how you do it the other chance to win was to um, just put in uh, wait for the second necrofusion uh, why because with necrofusion we uh, could have summoned the malicious um, uh, the malicious uh, fiend in, uh, in our opponent's turn, maybe when he just summoned another monster to go for lethal, uh, Necrofusion and winning in our opponent's turn, but I mean, it was one of the choices, he made a misplay and we won um, quicker, there you go. There we go on our Howard, uh, the third win in a row. Uh, let's see what we got, um, we've got actually kind of bricky hand but we got the king's castle and this was the play i was talking about before in my explanation so we've got the gainer that can actually benefit from the effect of king's castle and this guy actually does not read cards there you go red slash dragon to pop up but i got the king's castle to boost up the 3200 attack boom that's just how easy it was uh, just attacking and he uh, he was kind of one of the brickiest hand that i got um, Hernando can be unbraked with just an adusted gold. Right here, guys, we had six cards of chances because we've got the triple adusted gold and also the shredders as well because shredders on summon will have added the adusted gold. So it was, you know, mm, uh, pretty likely that we uh, will have unbraked our hand. So there you go, Domination of Darkness once again. And this time we can just go all in with the Dark Calling, summoning the Inferno Wing making it untargetable, like, there you go, with uh, the favorite theater. Then I decided to keep the other one, maybe, you know, I was just playing too safely. But anyway, Red Eye Spirit, it's not enough. I can just inflict piercing damage, boosting up, and I didn't even had to uh, use the effect of Inferno Wing to uh, deal effect damage. That's how you do it, there you go. 
four win in a row. Uh, let's see what we got against Yami Yugi. Let's see. So uh, we've got um, Magnet Warriors. Pretty nice to see. You know, the, those guys, as I predicted, are in the tier list now. They are tier three. So let's see, we've got uh, double adjusted gold, so pretty nice, we use the effect once, then Supreme King's Castle, Domination of Darkness, here you go, uh, and this was actually not CK, as you can see Inferno Wing is coming and he can be uh, baboosted by the, the field spell, now we got Infernal Gainer, effect of Infernal Gainer to make this attack twice, first one, first attack, uh, he uh, mm, tagged out, summoning the Delta, but it's not enough, King's Castle's effect to boost up to 3700 first one first second attack maybe this was just a super body team force unite and that's how easy you can attack your opponent so you know infernal canyon is just like another favorite hero with no boost but just with the effect of attacking twice there you go last but not least um we've got the rank up win right here uh pretty good hand uh we've got everything is actually said to do nothing and this is how you deal with back rows right here uh actually with hand drops um i don't know why i was you know i didn't want to deal him damage that was not lethal i was afraid of some crazy skill that i was not be able of thinking about so i just went with this guy right here that with favorite hero just becomes um uh, a 4k because he's the only one you know among the heavy heroes that you can summon with domination of darkness he's the only one that with favorite hero becomes yes and a, a sum of attack and defense equal to more than 4k so that's why i chose him so there you go favorite hero in the battle phase, bringing out the Supreme King's castle, attacking for leader. In this case, guys, even if he's got so this this guy has a potential of three attacks if he destroys a monster by battle because he can attack twice with Infernal Gainer, and if he pops a monster, he can attack once again with the effect of Favorite Hero. So keep in mind that uh, I felt there was delay. Uh, I guess he just had something like Temperance. This was maybe a Lunar Light attack, and. There you go, that's just how cool it is to play Hell Heroes with Favorite Hero. So guys, that was all for the replays. I hope you enjoyed all the explanation. Uh, feel free to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.